Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I really want to talk about nine brands that I want to reach out and try, or try more, in 2019. From what I could tell researching this video, this was created by Samantha March. I will go ahead and link her channel, and if I can find the original video, that down below as well. Before we jump into my nine brands, most of them are makeup, but I do have a couple of skincare brands in there as well. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I've got my little list on my computer over here, and the first brand that I want to try out is Sydney Grace Cosmetics. I believe they are mostly shadows. Oh, look, okay, so they have highlighters and blush too. Um, but what I've really heard a lot about from Sydney Grace are the single shadows and their palette called the Autumn's Rain Palette. That does look like a really pretty palette. That is $52.00. They also just have a bunch of stunning singles. They do bundles. I feel like I've been hearing about Sydney Grace ever since like I started watching YouTube because I started watching YouTube for like makeup and stuff at like late 2014, early 2015 is when I actually started watching videos. And I watch videos all the way up through now. I still watch videos and until I created my channel for um, the first time back in the summer of 2017 and then actually like consistently posted starting January 2018. Sydney Grace has always been around, and people have always talked about how great the shadows are, so I really want to try this brand. I really don't know where they're based out of, so do, 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 do. I think they're based out of the U.S.? Yeah, okay, so they're based out of California, so the shipping really shouldn't be that bad. They ship everything by USPS. Processing time shouldn't take too long. So I really do want to try out Sydney Grace. I don't know if I'll like immediately go out and buy a palette, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Autumn's Rain is like their first palette, and it does look really pretty, and I think that would be a good way to like test the formula. So I'm looking at that palette. If not, I do want to pick up a couple of the single shadows because they're the same price as like ColourPop or MAC. Like they're decently priced shadows. So that's definitely a brand that's on my radar for this year. So this next one I, I keep going back and forth on and the more I learn the more confused I get and that is Blush Tribe. So I've heard some great things about Blush Tribe and I've heard some absolutely horrible things about blush tribe about like processing times about packages getting lost in the mail about taking over a month for a package to arrive and if you missed makeup struggles one of her most recent videos she talked about like the worst products of 2018 she mentioned blush tribe and ah like i i i'm on the fence now like i i, I don't feel 100 percent confident ordering from them hearing what i've heard uh, but I I'm curious and I still want to try the brand, so I, uh, yeah, mm, 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 mm. I, so it's going to be on my radar. I do have a couple of palettes that interest me from them and I kind of really want to try their face products, but I'm being very hesitant just from what I've already heard about the brand. The next brand that I really want to try is actually on Etsy, which I really want to reach out and try more products from Etsy just because that way you're supporting like micro businesses and it's a great way to start it's a great way to expand and I, I personally I love Etsy I've been buying from Etsy for like years and years and years and the brand is called Touch of Glam and Beauty and they had the um the pizza highlighter I believe that kind of blew up a little bit ago they just have a bunch of really brilliant blinding highlighters. They have a nice array of like sparkle shadows. They also have like this hocus pocus like gingerbread cookie thing. I, I want that a lot. But they all look beautiful. They're all pressed beautifully in these pans. They have a pick 12 create your own highlight thing which I may or may not do but that's a lot of highlights. Uh, I already have a drawer of highlighters. But I, I really want to try out this brand. They're also based out of California, so it is within the U.S. And like I said, I really just want to reach out and try some more like micro brands on Etsy because I did see the Taylor do a video where I think she tried out a few things from Etsy and they worked out really well for her. So I really want to try in my journey to try more indie brands in 2019. I want to also focus on trying some more indie brands based out of Etsy. The next brand that I really want to try this year is Ace Butte. Butte. Ace Butte Cosmetics. They just came out with a new palette, the Flare Palette. Pal, 
the flare palette i talked about it in a weekly wow where like that last row looked gorgeous and then the rest was just kind of like mm, okay but they have lashes makeup brushes eyeshadow a few of the smaller influencers that i follow really like their eyeshadow formula so while i don't really need any more palettes i'm looking into getting a palette from them it's just uh, other than that recent palette the flare none of the other color stories really like call to me so i'm keeping my eyes out to see if they're coming out with anything else that's fairly new they have quite a few palettes and they had like those four palettes come out that were very popular on youtube like the purple paradise the classical paradise blossom passion and the slice of paradise those looked okay but not, none of those stories really called to me the closest thing i got was the flare palette so if anything at this point to try the brand out i'd probably pick up that flare palette just because eh, most some of the shadows interest me but i really i'm just gonna keep my eyes open and see if they come out with anything else this year because i would love to see another one of like their 12 pan palettes and maybe a different color story because it seems like they have like neutral 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 and then like all the color <laughs> in the four palettes so so we'll see but i am interested and i do want to try this out sometime this year the next brand that i really want to try out this year is jouet so for me, I've heard a lot about their lip toppers and their lipsticks. I believe they are sold within Ulta, if I'm not mistaken, and I really just at least want to try something, because I feel like I hear about Jouer like here and there, but then I never really follow through and actually look into their products or look into the brand, so I am interested to try out that brand and actually just kind of see what they actually have to offer, because all that I'm aware of are like lip toppers and lipsticks the next brand that i really want to try and this one shouldn't be too hard is sugar pill sugar pill i think i believe are most well known for their lipsticks and for their like huge eyeshadow pans i can actually see these in store we have a riley rose nearby and riley rose does carry sugar pill the only thing is that whenever i go in almost all the shadows are always sold out but at least I can go in and actually see like the shadows up on display. Uh, I really do want to pick up like the fill your own pan kind of thing, I believe. Uh, I think it's a 12 pan palette you can fill up. So I really want to do that. I would love to do it in store, but like, like I said, every time I go in, like everything's sold out. And I do want to try out one of their lipsticks. They just recently got um, put into Ulta stores and I believe it's just liquid lipsticks for now. So I would love to go into Ulta and see what shades they have available for the liquid lipsticks and pick up a couple of them. The next brand that I, I really need to try out because I just love the aesthetic. This is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs and their whole aesthetic of just kind of like the Halloween, the creepy, the gory, like I'm living for it. Seriously, I need all of their eyeshadow palettes. I need their lipsticks. I really wanted to look into one of like their contour palettes, but this is what's getting me, their prices. The contour book that I was actually looking into is almost $74 that's like the same price as the Kevin Aquan sculpting book but I've heard some great reviews on that they have a pro contour book volume one and volume two they also sell all of their contour blushes I believe individually so but they're like 12 okay I need, I need to look into actually like the prices and do you know math yeah. but I was looking into their contours and I was looking into their eyeshadows and what's holding me back is just the price because their eyeshadow palettes I love the way they look and some of the color stories are actually gorgeous and I really want to jump on them but they're $35 and you get five shades uh, they also sell a whole bunch of single shadows as well and you can buy an empty palette and fill that up as well which I think I'm gonna do that I'm probably just gonna buy their empty palettes ten dollars and then just fill it up with a couple of things just to try it out oh, I love their palettes I want the Elvira palette which is a neutral with a pop of blue but I am I, am I getting sucked in by the packaging probably but I think the Vampira palette looks really really nice zombie defense looks really cute I just ah so the whole aesthetic of this brand is just calling me and what's holding me back is just like that that initial like sticker shock and you know i spend that much money on makeup anyway so i'm gonna save up and i'm gonna pick pick up an order from lunatic cosmetic labs probably next month february and I'll, do you want to try that on a camera 
let me know if you guys want me to do like my first impressions on camera because I really do want to do a full review on it. I don't like just doing a first impression and leaving it there. So do you guys want to see one full review video or do you want to see a first impression and then a full review? Let me know down below. The last makeup brand that I really want to try in 2019 is Certify. And if you guys missed my last weekly wish list or washout, I believe, we looked at their concept palette, which was like the green blue palette. If that is a reality, I'm scooping it up. I've been looking at this brand for a while, and like I said, nothing has really caught my eye from them until this concept palette. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that concept palette, and I really hope it does come out in 2019, because if it does, I'll be there the minute it releases, scooping it up, because uh, I want it. I really do. Okay, so the last brands that I have, I have two skincare brands. So the first skincare brand that I really want to try more of is Mario Badescu. I've tried out their like face sprays and I've incorporated them into like my morning and nighttime skincare routine and I actually love them. They add extra moisture, which in the winter is really helpful and it just, it works really well with my skin. So it's gotten me more intrigued in the brand and I really do want to try out and try a couple of things. I've asked for some suggestions and I have gotten a couple of great suggestions and I have gotten a couple of great suggestions from you guys so thank you so much everyone who suggested products that I try out from this brand they just announced that they're going to be in Sephora soon and they're already in Ulta so I think if anything I'd probably buy the products from Ulta just because their reward system is a little bit better but definitely keeping my eyes open and I do want to try out a few products I think I'm going to try a toner first and then from there maybe try it as um like a face wash or something but I really do have my eye on um one of their toners and the last brand and last skincare brand that I really want to try is a brand that I used to love and buy like all of my skincare from solely back when I was in college and then it's, it's a bit pricey so I couldn't really afford it on a college budget <laughs> even when I was working like three jobs it dropped off the map and I never really went back to skincare it was the first like actual skincare routine that I ever tried and stuck to and saw results from and that's Origins I used to love like their white bottle foaming face wash I used to love their face masks their toners their everything I used to love from Origins and now that I've been investing more in skincare and trying out different products and I found a routine that works pretty well for me, I I kind of want to go back and try Origins again because I remember how well that brand worked for me and I really want to go back and try their toner again and their face wash as well. So technically that was 10 brands but I think I counted both of the skincare brands as one is just like skincare. So those are the brands that I really want to try out in 2019. Let me know down below what brands you want to try out in 2019 and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!